kit. We're here today to talk about landlord licensing. What can you tell us about the details? Well, uh, landlord licensing in terms of the costs, uh, the registrations, this is kind of like an early bird registration, is £350. Um, and that's go, you're going to need to register before the 1st of September. After the 1st of September, it's going to cost you £750. We right. will flash the website up on screen um, for any landlords that are interested in doing so. And um, Ken, so what would landlords require? Okay, this is Croydon landlord licensing, I should add there, not just licensing in any borough. This is specific to Croydon, which has just brought in this idea of bringing it in just before it would have been illegal to do so. So I think it's a disgrace in what they're doing. But anyway, you've got to do it. Don't try and shirk it. Unfortunately, it's here. We've got to deal with it. There is some other information I'll give you later, but right now what you need to know is you need to go to the website which is below us and register all of your properties. The fee is per property, and as Kit rightly says, it's £350 per property for a five-year term. At the end of that term, obviously, there'll be another fee, but in the meantime, what you need to know is get it in before the 1st of September, otherwise it will cost you £750 per property. That's a serious amount of money. Now, in terms of what they'll require from you when you register, you'll need your gas safety certificate and details of any interested parties, such as managing agents and your mortgagee information as well. And uh, yeah, Ken, what are your thoughts on the landlord licensing scheme and programme in Croydon? Obviously? I think it's a disgrace. I think it's been brought in as a money raising exercise. Self funding is the buzzword for local authorities. They're facing redundancies and they're using this as a way of keeping employment in the borough. I don't think there's any benefit for landlords. Uh, what they'll do is start an inspection regime and that will be their justification. It's all about antisocial behaviour. They say that it will stop it. Uh, there's no evidence that it's done so in other boroughs and in fact if you look at any professional managing agent and any landlord that's already above the radar, actually they're not the problem. It's the landlords that are under the radar who won't register anyway, so it'll make absolutely no difference to those. Nonetheless, I think it's important the landlords know that you have to register because the fines for non-registration are substantial and another way of creating milking money out of landlords. So make sure you do register. There's also a petition to object to this that is going to the High Court. Now we're going to flash the details on screen and we would suggest that you sign up to this petition and let Croydon know that this is an unacceptable way of doing business. My thoughts in terms of going forward are that actually £350 per property over a five year term is not a significant amount of money, but what it demonstrates is Croydon's apathy towards landlords where you've got other boroughs surrounding us which don't have selective licensing schemes. If you're a landlord thinking of investing in Croydon and you realise that perhaps there's an antisocial behaviour problem and that you're going to get charged a fee where you won't in other boroughs, you may decide to become a landlord in other boroughs. The net effect over the medium term, in my opinion, will be we'll have less landlords. And already we have a massive undersupply of property. This will push rents. So the good news, landlords, is simply that over the next few years there'll be less new landlords coming on board and in my view in the next five years we'll see rents double for this reason. So thanks to Croydon Council, rents are going up.